Hello YouTubes, this is Sam. I'm continuing my Overtone series video and uh, getting into the essentials or essential intervals of music and sound through the Overtone series. So, um, as I pointed out in my last video, we have an initial tone and that's what we have right here. We have our initial tone. Now, so this is divided. The intervals, it divides into a perfect eighth, which is right here. And then it divides into a fifth and a fourth, which are both right there. And so these are the dividing points of every single um, division of the initial note. And this is what we understand as the overtone series. Because this is actually the measurement of these dividing points that are actually resonating in the atmosphere. And this is, these are the tones we hear after hearing the initial tone and how the atmosphere actually affects our ear as it resonates. So, um, you can look this up on wikipedia.org, but their focus is on the instrument and the dividing of a, of a, a string, given uh, science focuses on the string theory or super string theory. But this is a little different because artistically, we are using our ears. We're not necessarily analyzing with our eyes or analyzing scientifically. This is how the string divides within itself to make a timbral quality of this particular design of instrument to produce this type of frequency for these specific tones, and who knows what else? I don't even know. It's probably not even that. It's probably a formula that they use to figure all this out. But, <clears throat> well, some, something I, I have figured out is that uh, science uses a different way of, uh, they use a different measuring system altogether. So what we have here musically is the overtone series and it's measured in musical terms. So it's not that it's precise or scientifically uh, exact, but according to how we hear sound from an, a single and initial tone, we are looking at how the notes are all related to one another through a single tone. Oh, wow. <laughs> that kind of took a, a lot of breath to execute. Uh, but um, this is what the overtone series is. It's how all the notes relate to one another through the initiating tone of a single tone. So now I want to present to you two things that are understood by most professional composers. And what this understanding is, is this. It is the matter of consonance and dissonance. And I'm going, I'm going to erase what's on the bottom of this chart. And I will write this below. I will write this below. So we have uh, consonants and dissonants. Okay. So basically. Um, also, I, I wanted to point out that uh, you can get this exact picture 
of the overtone series and the notes and the intervals. If you go to wikipedia.org and just search for the overtone series, and you can, they will bring up the musical um, measurement that I have presented here. They'll have the musical measurement of these intervals of what is known as the overtone series. But um, just don't get too scientific about it if you're a musician. Just know how the notes relate one to another. That's the main thing, is that you just understand how these notes relate one to another um, through, through the understanding of consonants and dissonance, which is what I'm going to share right now. So the consonant values of a tone or a scale or um, the consonant value of any chord, scale, any notational relationship is given through the understanding of how the tones relate one to another through the overtone series. So, as you know, I showed you the wave form of the um, what the overtone series is, and so the consonant values, which I had written below, are those of, uh, you have the initial tone, I'm going to make my imaginary dot here, and whenever the tone resonates in the atmosphere, it divides, there's your octave, it hits the line, and that's your period. And then it go, comes back around, oh, wait, oh, uh, yeah, okay, we're going the right way, we're going the right way, and then it comes back up. And there's your next point, which is the next tone. Mathematically, this is linear, right? It's just on a single plane, but musically, it's notated from the lowest note all the way up to the highest. So already, looking at this diagram, you see that consonance is established through the intervals of the notes as they rise in the overtone series, but also consonants is established through the first three intervals. And the first three intervals are your perfect fifth, your perfect fourth, and your octave. So I'll put a perfect eighth as your octave. Okay. So these are your consonant val intervals and consonant values of an initiating tone that establishes the tonal center through an octave, a perfect fourth, or a perfect fifth, which is significant in uh, musical terms because, as you see, the treble clef and the bass clef are both understood uh, in the measurement of a perfect fifth above and below middle C. So. Um, as you're exploring music, remember to think more in terms of fourths and fifths and how the notes relate one to another. But um, consonants and what we have here uh, will bring balance. It will establish the initial tone but they're also the tones that are closest to the initial tone. So uh, I'm going to have to stop here and reach you guys at the next video.